coming up. This competition season, the Dancing Dolls are taking no prisoners. We're not going to let up on anybody. We're on a national ass-kicking tour. The Dancing Dolls! We beat the Miami team. We beat the Divas of Olive Branch. But this week, our team has unfinished business right here in Jackson, Mississippi. Purple Diamond! This is the rematch of all rematches. I'm not putting up with any crap. I could care less what the hell happened. I kind of feel like I'm being attacked. Boys are going to be our secret weapon. What the hell is Diana thinking? We should not be competing this weekend. You always messing up. Let that be the teeth, because that's the truth. You need to check yourself. You're not going to raise your voice to me, and I'm not going to raise mine back. Book we up, get booked back on. That's but what it's going to be. Today. Today. It's my I'm team. I, it's my I just want to take their lips and put a clothespin on it, like Donald Duck. <laughs> Check up. Y'all need to stop all that talking. Y'all don't even know where we going. What's she talking about? I do not know. I thought she knew you was captain. You know. Nah, she ain't tell me nothing. What I just say? Hush. Miss Diana told us where to wear and where to meet up at. And then she was like, y'all need to hush all that talking. And I'm like, what is this about? Something's up. Exactly. So what the world? I do not know. This week, we're going to the Strut and Stride competition in Utica, Mississippi at Heinz Community College. And one of our biggest rivals is going to be at this competition, the Purple Diamonds. The last time we competed against the Purple Diamonds, they won. And the situation got completely out of hand. Purple Diamonds! The Purple Diamonds patted their asses in my girls' faces when you're basically saying, kiss my ass. It showed the utmost level of disrespect. So I want the Dancing Dolls to meet up with the Purple Diamonds before we see them at the competition this weekend. Because when these teams battle each other, it seems like the rule book just goes out of the window. They start screaming. My kids start screaming. The parents are screaming. Everybody's just out of whack. And there needs to be some type of boundary set. Because if there's not, there's going to be a fight. Well, what's up, ladies? Hi. Definitely there's a lot of tension build up between Diana and I, and that has definitely been happening over the years. We have two of the best teams in Jackson, so quite naturally, we're gonna have a rivalry. You know, I feel like we both live in the same city. We should be able to get along, regardless of what our previous issues were. We should be able to leave it on the dance floor. I'm gonna be honest with you, that last competition, it left the worst taste in my mouth about Purple Diamonds. The worst taste in my mouth. This new competition season, I'm gonna make some changes. I'm not putting up with any crap. These are two teams that have been at each other for years. They're calling out kids on social media. They're talking negatively about the teams, and it's time for it to come to an end. The patting of the butts and the booing and all the other ignorance, that's ridiculous. But I just feel like we should be able to battle one another, just leave it on the dance for all the trash talk or whatever. I don't, I don't have time for that. Let it be what it's going to be. I sit in this aisle. Last time we went up head to head with the Dancing Dolls, two of my young ladies got a little bit out of character when they announced the winners. And when that happened, that really made things worse. Um, it was difficult for us to show the true purple diamonds that we really are. Ladies of poise, class, and sophistication. There were two girls that did that. That was not my whole squad. I could care less what the hell happened. My patience is at zero for it. Don't do that. I kind of feel like I'm being attacked, you know? I can't really get a word in edgewise at first because she's just like, whoosh, 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 coming at me. I feel like Diana has a one-sided view of everything. Sometimes we just lose sight of the girls, and sometimes we teach them one thing, and they do another. That's true. Even though it was not our entire squad, and we did not feel that way, we do apologize for that because that was not right. Everybody agree with that? I agree. OK. You know, I want to believe Shanika. I really do. You know, I want to feel that she's going to do the right thing and she would talk to her girls and talk to her parents. But I'm a non-trusting individual, you know, because I'm very skeptical. And I'm always looking for something to happen like Sherlock Holmes. So it's just going to be what it's going to be. I'm pretty sure y'all need to go practice. Don't y'all need to practice? Uh, don't worry practice. about that. We got that. Yeah, Trust that. me. Because who won okay. the last right. time? Mm -hmm. yeah. I get it. You may have won last time, but you're not going to win this time, and I'm going to make sure of it. When the Dancing Dolls battle the Purple Diamonds, there's not going to be any inappropriate gestures thrown back and forth across the floor. You're going to stay on your side. I'm going to stay on mine. There's not going to be any unsportsmanlike conduct. There's not going to be any ass padding. There's not going to be any of that. We ain't seen the Purple Diamonds in months. I'm ready for y'all to get them. Go after them with everything that y'all have. When y'all hit that floor, ain't going to be no smiling. We're going to let them all know who we are. 
and why we are the best team in Jackson. When we get to the strut and stride competition, it's ass kicking time. Believe that. Put up a shut up. Y'all know what I always say. Less of this, more of that. Y'all ready to practice? Cause I know I am. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let go. the hell is Diana thinking? And she lost the last piece of her mind. I think she has. Right. The last competition, right. it was right. all this, we won, right. it was right. crazy right. after the competition. And, and so, hello friend, hi. I don't see it. Up. No. I don't see it. No. I don't see it. I know in the past, every time the dancing dolls and the purple diamonds go head to head, it ends up with problems. The fans and social media causes a lot of tension. A lot of beef that shouldn't even be there. Going to one damn meeting ain't gonna solve it. Instead of me watching Kayla go through that again, before that happens, Kayla would not be in competition. As a captain, I would never encourage Kayla not to show up or leave her team behind. But at the same time, as her mother, I think she don't need to be there. Wow. As a parent, much. do I feel like this is a safe environment for my child? It's, it's gonna be fist blows and bitches called to a child. She don't need to be there. Stay See, away. Just avoid the whole situation. It's easy. What's that old saying? Give me one time, shame on me. Give, Give me, me two twice, times, shame, shame on you. Three times, you just stupid as hell. I'm worried because when I'm sitting on the sidelines and I see this extra activity from the girls on the other team, it gets me upset. And if I'm worked up, I might take something the wrong way, I might hear something the wrong way, and we all in trouble because my ass is in jail. You should all go mistake. in and talk to her about it. That is the best idea yeah. we had all night. Yeah. We need to stand together and tell her we do not want to battle. I see that. We can do that. All right. This week, we're going to be competing in Utica, Mississippi. Y'all know what my expectations are. We're going to have to make sure that we look the part. So that means going into this week, we have to make sure that our stands are bigger, badder, louder, and even more crazy. This week, the Dancing Dolls are competing in the Creative Dance and the Stand Battle. Knowing that we have this rematch head-to-head -head against the Purple Diamonds, the whole strategy changes for the week. You want to make sure that you correlate stands that are specifically targeted to this team. We came up with a completely new stand called Peacemaker. Yes. All right, let's get ready to practice. Come on, everybody to the floor. The Peacemaker stand is just what it is. We're trying to make peace with the rival team, and because we've had so many issues with the Purple Diamonds, the stand is specifically dedicated just for them. Purple Diamonds did this stand last season where they jumped on top of a pretend fake dancing doll and was swinging their arms as if they're beating up the girls. So what we're gonna do is utilize that in our stand to kind of make fun of it. We're gonna start the stand off with fighting, but then we're gonna pick them up, dust them off and say, you know what, I'm not gonna do that. I apologize, now let's dance together. All right, come on. Okay, girls, y'all start back here. Y'all start up here. Y'all are gonna be dancing. Then this gang of girls in purple uniforms are gonna invade your personal space. When they run up in your personal space, you look like, oh, really? Oh, really? Then let's battle. All right? Y'all back all the way up. Battling purple diamonds again this week. Like, I love to battle with somebody who's hungry, too. Everybody is mentally hungry for them. But I think the team myself and Miss Diana and me personally, all of us are mentally hungry for it. I think the team is ready to just get out there and perform because they already know our stands are on fleek and it's gonna happen. One, two, three, four, five, stop. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Everybody should look the exact same. Again. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be taunting them, two, two, three. You shouldn't be laughing. Five. Y'all know how this works. Y'all think I like doing this stuff over and over? There's a lot going on in this one stand. The stand is good and we need it. If the girls do not get it together, we can't use the stand for competition. Do it again. All week, I need you guys to act all of these stands out, okay? It's not just about dancing anymore. They have stepped it all the way up. And believe me, 
when we go to this battle, they're not gonna just be dancing. They're gonna be acting it all out, okay? You have to step it up. I respect Diana. I think that she's a great businesswoman. I think that she is a wonderful instructor. And I know that she has said that I teach my girls to hate her girls and that, you know, we're childish and that I don't rear my girls in the correct way. The drama has gone on for too long. It has gone too far. I'm so over it. I'm tired of it. I'm ready to get to the bottom of it and move forward. Come on. Y'all know they got tricks up their sleeves? They and some dogs want y'all. They always want y'all. They always coming up with something new. Our strategy this time is more showmanship, more umph, more energy, just stepping it up. So we're concentrating on making everything big, big personalities, big moves, just everything big. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, yes. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I hope the dancing dolls are preparing, because me and my girls win in the studio every day, step by step, getting our lives together. I don't want them to go easy on us. You know what? They should be mad that they lost the last time. They should come with rage because we're coming too. We just got to prove again that we're the best and we will win again. All right, ladies. For real, how are y'all feeling? We've added a lot of things that are really going to make us a good competitor this year. So of course right now we're ready for them. We've gone back to the drawing board and we are absolutely ready. Watch out, dolls. One, two, three, let's get it! Coming up. I don't need to listen to y'all. You text my mama, y'all. Maybe you need another job. The mama's always got something to say. Wah, 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 wah. I'm sick of that. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I don't know what the hell going on. This is a bad ass idea. Yeah. I right. agree. We need to go in there and let her know <laughs> that we got concerns about this competition. It's so much animosity with the Purple Diamonds and Dancing Dolls because we both carry a big fan base. Jackson isn't that big, so half belongs to the Purple Diamonds and half belongs to the Dancing Dolls. Anytime we link up, it's always going to be a problem. We need to stand together and tell her we do not want to battle I see Purple that. Diamonds. We can do that. When we think about the Purple Diamonds, first thing coming to our mind is drama. You don't want nobody to call you on the phone and say, well, your child is hurt. That's the worst phone call you ever want to get. And when you put the Dancing Dolls and the Purple Diamonds in the same room, you can get those phone calls like that. What y'all want? We, we got questions. A lot of what is up with the Purple Diamonds. I thought we didn't have to deal with that anymore. If you don't like it, don't let them come to practice tomorrow. Here we go, same speech. Oh, God. And it's going to be the same tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Why does it got to go down to this? Because y'all shouldn't be questioning whether or not I know what I'm doing, the decisions that I make for the team. There is no way in hell I would ever put the girls in harm's way. You and may as much feel as like I that, have an attitude or an issue with them, I'm very passionate about the fact that I do not feel like Purple Diamonds competition needs to be done. What I know from the last couple of years with this team, some is going to happen. So it is what it is. I had a bad taste, and sometimes when you have a bad taste, you know, I don't care if the restaurant is under new management, I don't like to eat there. Yeah, yeah I don't feel the same confidence you got about this. I don't know. I'm very what you know? The mama's always got something to say. Wah, 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 wah. I'm sick of that shit. Shut up. I just want to take their lips and put a clothespin on it, like Donald Duck. <laughs> See? It works. You don't hear do you? A damn thing. You know what? You know what? You know what? Oh, you know what? what? Uh, I'm not finna deal with this. You try battling by and yourself. I'm not finna deal with this. I'm not bagging down about this purple diamond stuff. It's not going to be good. She knows it. I know it. So it doesn't matter. Long as for the record, we should not be competing this weekend. This is what's going to happen. They're going to go to the competition. They're going to battle. I'm not gonna be bullied. I'm not gonna be punked. Tina's demanding answers. She wants to know why the girls have to battle PD. Because uh, I said so. If you don't like the decisions that I'm making for the team, holla. Bye-bye. You're not going to raise your voice to me, and I'm not going to raise mine back. Book up, get booked back on. That's but what it's going to be. But we ain't bucking it out. We ain't bucking it out. But you do teach our kids, and we do have a pen. I'm going to dress my pen, regardless how you feel about that Get mad or not, I'm going to tell you how I feel. When you took on this responsibility like dealing with somebody else's yeah, children, yeah, you had to get used man. to hearing their mama's mouth. I don't need to listen to y'all. You text my mama, listen to y'all. Maybe 
you need another job. Baby, you in the wrong profession. You shouldn't work with nobody kids if you don't want to hear what people has to say. Because when you sign on to deal with another person, especially a minor, that ain't nothing but questions. You need to check yourself. Bye, good night. Leaving ain't solving that. Nah. They solving it, I gotta go. Leaving ain't fixing I gotta go. Don't walk away, Miss D. Put your ass out my even though the argument didn't solve anything or we didn't get anywhere with Diana, I'm glad that she sees that this year is going to be a different competition season. We're not going to let her get away with all the normal. We're not going to sit back and take it. We're not going to go home and wipe our girl's eyes and tell her, well, maybe this is why Diana do this. We're going to stand up and we're going to dress you. Same script, same Diana here. Yeah. Hey. Don't let him fall, oh. Robert. If he falls, he's gonna get back up. He's gonna be okay. Kobe comes first. I mean, he is the top priority in my life. Go! That's just if I... And at the same time, in a way, I'm kind of a second mom to the dancing dolls. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> How's practice? You know, we supposed to be battling Purple Diamonds this weekend, and the parents are really pissed off about it. It is what it is. This is not the first time they've been upset. It won't be the last. No, it's not. But, you know, it's got me really wondering, you know, am I making the wrong choice? Am I making the bad decision? I know that if something happens, it's going to be on me. It's not going to be good. The parents are going to be pissed. The girls are going to be pissed. Hell, I'm even going to be pissed. But at the same time, it's a risk that I'm willing to take. I think that the girls need to do this. The parents are not going to always be there to defend them every single time something happens or to fix a problem every time there's an issue. The girls have to be able to stand on their own two feet and handle themselves. It just has me feeling some type of way about the whole situation because I know for a fact that I would never lead the girls into any type of situation where I feel like they're going to be hurt. I wish the parents would just trust me. I do somewhat the same thing that Anna does. I coach girls basketball, the miscommunication, the frustration dealing with parents. I know it's part of coaching. If they thought you were going to lead their daughter in the wrong direction, they wouldn't be on the team. You got a competition coming up, so I will relay that message to them. Hey, you guys in the stand, cheer your daughter's on, and let me do me. My husband is right. At the end of the day, these are my kids. Yeah, you gave birth to them, but when they walked into the dollhouse, they became mine. And when I make a decision for my kids, my decision stands, period. Go. Yeah, I won that one. He like this, my hand up. It's me. No. It's me. It's okay to lose. Mm. I bet you can be mama though. I ain't leaving. <laughs> All right. All right. Coming up, the guys are gonna be your partners in your creative dance. Ooh, boys. Are they on the team now? But I'm holding on to my dear sweet love nuts because I don't believe it. other side. This week we're going to the Strut and Stride competition in Utica, Mississippi at Heinz Community College. And I want to make sure that our creative dances stay big and fun and festive. So I have a huge surprise for the girls this week. Boys are going to be our secret weapon in our creative dance. Baby, what's going on with these boys in here? Girl, move. I can't move. Did, did the right class? Rittany and I come up, and I'm looking in the window like, OK, Miss Diana, did you start a new team and we didn't know anything about this? Are they replacing the girls? Babe, I'm so glad Bye, my friends are here. Yeah, Hello, the oh, teamwork, no. make the dream work. Go in here and see what's going on. Bye, girls. Text me. That's weird. Me and Kayla are walking into the dial house just like any other practice. But the thing that's different about this practice is Miss Diana has these boys in there. Like, are they guys gonna be dancing with us? And I was like, why would Miss Diana put guys to dance with us? She's never done it. Guys. Guys. What? A whole lot of us! Whoa, 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 whoa. What the Who hell is Diana thinking? Who the name? hell left the gate open? Come on. Come on. I mean, you don't it's, know either? It's just no, a boys. Yeah. Are they on the team now? Why are these boys in here? Are they coming a part of the team? Are they trying to help the girls out with a routine? I mean, I have so many questions and no answers. But I'm pretty sure y'all trying to figure out why they here. The guys are going to be your partners in your creative dance. Creative dance is going to have a Latin, fiesta, salsa, fiery theme. So we have to make sure that our routine is not only creatively entertaining, but that it's over the top and it's action-packed with choreography. One, two, three, four. 
The guys are gonna come out and dance with the girls. It kind of gives you that ballroom, salsa, dancing with the stars element of the routine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. To know that the boys are actually gonna be dancing with us, that, you know, that's exciting, but yet it's still nerve wracking because you don't know what these boys can do. You don't know if some can dance, you don't know if some can't. Hopefully we don't lose to them because of that. Cha-cha turn, cha-cha turn, slide, stop. Girls, it's, it's pop your hip, kick, cha-cha-cha, kick, pop your hip, kick, cha-cha-cha, sway left and right, sway left and right, and slide to them. Go back, start with one, two. We're going up against one of our biggest rivals, the Purple Diamonds, a team that we have had issues with for years, a team that we know we want to beat, a team that we're going into a rematch with. There's no such thing as not winning. Seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Now cut feet up and left, and right, and back, and back, cha-cha, ladies. Up and down, and cha-cha-cha. Up and down, and cha-cha-cha. If you don't know this, you're not doing it. There's no reason why you shouldn't have this. No reason whatsoever. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Seven and eight, seven and eight. I'm getting extremely frustrated with the whole damn thing. There's too much going on in the routine for all these mistakes. And the girls are not focused at all, at all. This ain't frozen, somebody gotta get cooked. It's time for the big draw out about how and whose baby is the best. I wanna make sure that the girls understand that at any given time, if you're not doing what you're supposed to do, you can be replaced, male, female, cat, Dog, dinosaur, whatever. Doesn't matter. Whoever's gonna get up here and buck a fool, it's gonna be the person that makes cuts. It's as simple as that. I don't care if I have to chop the squad down to the bare minimum of three for me to get what I need. When y'all did this, a one, two, three, four, five. Y'all used to doing everything on one, two, three, four, five, seven, and nine, it's on two, and it's throwing you off. You need to make sure that when you do it, you're consistent. A Nazi, when y'all did those chassés, I don't know what you doing, because when you make mistakes, you tell on yourself. I didn't ask you nothing. And you don't interrupt me while I'm talking, and you wasn't finna foul hell, you always back there messing up. Let that be the tea, because that's the truth. What you should do is allow me to give you my critique so I wouldn't read you like I'm reading you right now. Fellas, same thing go for y'all, because some of y'all look scared to death. Y'all can't get up here dancing like that. I'm sure my presence probably intimidates the boys, and I'm glad. I don't want them to feel like Miss Diane is going to be a pushover. Not going to happen. Nobody is exempt. Anybody can get it. You're not doing what you're supposed to do. You can get it. Your cousin can get it. Your mama can get it. Everybody can get it. They ain't doing what they supposed to do, they going to get it. So, get your life. Understand? Wonderful. We have everybody's attention. We've made it to Utica. It's time for us to get out there on the floor and do what it is that we've been practicing for all week long. The Purple Diamonds are here. I don't want no mess. None. Waking up this morning and getting ready for competition, I wasn't really happy. Even though I'm looking forward to my girls having an opportunity to have a face-to-face -face competition with the Purple Diamonds, I'm not looking forward to the drama, if there's gonna be any. For some reason, every time these two teams are in the same space, whether it's the teams, whether it's the parents, whether it's the fans or the supporters, there's always some kind of negative backlash or drama, and I promise I'm just not in the mood for it. Everybody is to be on their best behavior, or you're gonna go find your mama. All right, let's go. I'm wearing heels today. I like my shoes. I'm a shoe freak. I don't want to have to break a heel off in somebody's ass because they don't know how to act. I've already expressed to my girls at practice. I have told my parents how they're supposed to act. But at the end of the day, sometimes the flesh takes over and you can't think about what you're supposed to be doing and how you're supposed to be acting. I hope that everybody knows that we're here to compete. The battle is on the dance floor. It's not in the bleachers and it's not with words. We don't need to use words to dance. <laughs> For this weekend's competition, I just want everything to go smoothly. I don't want any problems. And I want to win against the Purple Diamonds. I want to make sure 
that we get on the bus and out of here before I give them any credit, because I don't trust them. My problem with the Purple Diamonds is their fans are very rude and crazy. I didn't want to come today, but Caleb, she's not going to leave her own team, nevertheless, you know, leave her team behind, but, you know, that's just a wish factor for me that she just not do it, but it's not even an option for Kayla. Well, sometimes you just have to let the past be in the past. That's true. I give everybody chances, baby. Chances ain't what I'm worried about. It's the opportunity to act ass what I'm worried about. Well, think positive. I am. Think positive. I am. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not going to make the dancing dolls look bad. It's going to make them look bad because the reputation is already there on them to act that way. Right. I don't want drama from the Purple Diamonds. I don't want to deal with all the shenanigans. I just want everything to be calm. I want everybody to just do what they're supposed to do and to compete and just have good sportsmanship. The whole competition is for the kids. This yep. whole dance thing is for the kids. Good Nobody time. should be in the midst of all that drama, whether they're battling us or battling anybody else. Because I've been told in the past that they've not only done that to us, they've done that to other teams right. too. Right. So I'm just hoping that because the conversation was had, it's been put out there, we said it out loud, OK? That we're just going to hope that it's going to be what it's going to be. Right. I just don't trust you. Just trust me. You don't have to trust them. Okay. Trust me. OK. OK? I think it's gonna Ooh, be all right. but I'm holding on to my dear sweet love nuts because I don't believe it. I don't want anything close to what happened last time to happen again. It's important for these girls to understand that dancing is a sport in which we can have good sportsmanship. We can get out there, do what we're supposed to do, leave it on the floor, and move forward. We're ready for them. We're gunning for them. Our mindset is still that we're going into battle. We're still going to win, regardless of what has happened. It doesn't matter, because on the dance floor, that's when it really matters. Coming up to Sanjay, her skirt fell off. Damn! Hopefully, this doesn't cost us the win in the competition. Heads bowed, eyes closed. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to be able to dance in your name. We thank you for being able to be here. We thank you for the gifts and the talents that each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen do possess. We thank you for the opportunity that the fellows have given us to work with them this week. Lord, I ask that you remove any fear from the hearts of any of these ladies or gentlemen that are about to hit the floor. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Y'all have fun. DD 4 l <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen with creative dance. It's a Latin routine, and we're utilizing guys. It's really tricky because the girls have to remember their steps, but I'm also counting on them to remember the guy steps. They kinda have to help the guy out a little bit. So if the guy steps the wrong way, it's gonna throw the whole thing off. It has to be synchronized movements. Let's welcome to the floor. Diamonds aren't doing creative dance and trying to figure out why. Did you not have enough practice time this week? Maybe you needed the time to create new stands to battle us. Please welcome the dancing dogs from Jackson, Mississippi. This week we decided not to compete in theme because we wanted to focus strictly on stand battle. I think that it was most important for us to put all of our time and effort into that particular category. I'm feeling excited, nervous, worried, scared, all at the same time. But I'm just hoping they're going to pull it off. And I look at the Sanjay, her skirt fell off. I'm like, damn! Hopefully this doesn't cost us points and cost us the win in the competition. Theme was Latin, it was salsa, they had the beautiful colors. This seemed like these guys, they came alive. Everybody did such a great job. I enjoy watching the dancing dolls. I love how they brought the guys in. I see that we're gonna have a lot of competition today, so we're gonna have to really, really bring our A game.
Yeah, just throw them in that chair right there. Under the lights. All I know is from crowd reaction, every time a different group came out, it was amazing. Fellas, I think y'all did a really good job. Yeah, really good job. So, what we need to do now, we need to get ready for stand back. All right, everybody, in your stand line. Two, three, four, five, six. The Purple Diamonds have prepared all week for this competition. We wanted to focus strictly on stand battle. Of course, we have the Dancing Dolls, who we've competed against before, and they're pretty much our biggest competitors, and that's who we're really focusing on for this competition. Um, I need you to put your thinking caps on. We've had to cram a lot of material, and this is not the time for you to be forgetting. You think the Dancing Dolls gonna forget? No. You ever seen them forget before? No. The last time the Purple Diamonds battled the Dancing Dolls, the Purple Diamonds won, so we have to definitely hold on to that win. I feel good. Do y'all feel good? Yes. We don't have any room for nervousness. We don't have any room for you being scared because they are about the business and y'all need to be about the business. That means your energy has to stay up, okay? Especially if you're going against the Dancing Dolls. I feel really, really good about the fact that we're going to compete against the Dancing Dolls. Definitely the Purple Diamonds are gonna take that trophy home today. One, two, three, let's get it! Coming up, I've been waiting on this for a long time. Here we go. Finally, it's showtime. This week, we're going up against the number one rival in the state of Mississippi, the Purple Diamonds. It's a competition that we've been waiting for. It's time to bury the hatchet. It's time to put this to rest. Let's see who's the best. I just want a good battle. I just want Dancing Dolls to get on the floor and kill it, and we take that trophy home. That's all I want today. We are ready to have healthy competition. We've gotten some of this tension cleared. I think we can actually put that behind us and focus on actually battling it out on the floor and leave it on the floor. We are just as hungry for this win as we were for the last one. We won last, but we're not going to give it to them this time. We are going to win. It's time for the stand battle, and I've been waiting on this for a long time. It's the Dancing Dolls versus the Purple Diamonds, the rematch. Here we go. I'm so ready for the stand battle. Purple Diamond needs to come on. I'm ready. My captain Natalia is feeling really good today. Though she's a little bit nervous, she's confident in herself as well as her team, and she knows that we can bring a win home today. One thing about the Dancing Dolls that I love so much, we know how to reinvent ourselves every single week. We're gonna continue to change things up to keep everybody on their toes and trying to figure out what the hell we're gonna do. They weren't ready for that. Watching the Purple Diamonds, I can tell that they're thrown off by what's going on because their captain keeps turning around, looking back at one of her other teammates, and her teammates are telling her what stand to throw. Ain't no hand signals on the sideline to tell you what damn stand you're supposed to throw. That's baseball. The Dancing Dogs, honestly, they're a good team. Like, they, we two are like the best in Jackson, Mississippi. I just don't want them to beat us. stand that we're utilizing chairs in. At the end, the girls actually do a split on the chair where they slide the chair down. But it's really, really tricky because you have to hold on and you have to have your grip on the floor as well. We're 
when they slid out, one of them said, Juke, splat. I was like, oh, get up. Christiana's teeter-tottering a little bit, and I can tell that she's frustrated. I know my kid's body language. I've been around Christiana since she was six years old. These girls are battling. They're doing such a good job. They're going back and forth. You know, I feel like I'm out there dancing. You know, I'm yelling for the girls. Because they are, everybody always needs that extra push, and the crowd gives you that push to let you know you kill them. Study, get your lesson. Whatever goes down, don't take no mess. In practice this week, we've added extra props. We've done a lot to really make the show more entertaining. Purple Diamonds trying to do this basket toss? Really? Are you trying to make us laugh? I mean, baby, it seems like you can't even toss salad. Battling Purple Diamonds the whole time, through all the rounds, I'm like, I know I got this peacemaker stand. I know it's going to set it off, and I'm so impatient. But it's finally the time to throw a peacemaker. Finally get a chance to throw the state. I'm hoping to get that jaw-dropping reaction to where you're like, oh my god, no they didn't. And then all of a sudden, these girls come out dressed up like the Purple Diamonds and invade our personal space and challenge us to a battle. The Purple Diamonds get an opportunity to see in 3D with no glasses how you actually looked the last time we had a heads-up battle against you. I think everybody was crunk off this. The whole time, the crowd was like, ooh. It is a heated battle. I'm watching the stand battle, and I cannot believe what I'm seeing. And I'm just looking at them like, oh my god. This was our way of being able to share the story through our point of view so that you can see what you did to us and what it made us feel like. And at the end of it, all of that happened, but we were still able to make peace. But yeah, we want to win. Shit, we're on a butt kicking tour. But we don't want to get our butts kicked on our own freaking tour. Okay. I thought y'all did good. Yeah! <laughs> that last thing was an Crazy. ass. Yes. That, that yes. last yes. thing, yes. they wasn't ready. Oh, when y'all ran out with them uniforms on, they were looking like. <laughs> I'm very pleased, okay? Y'all felt it, y'all were into it, and y'all did everything we asked y'all to do, so. Woo! Oh. Coming up. First place goes to... You never know how the judges feel. the Purple Diamonds. I feel like the Dancing Dolls won today, but in every competition, who knows? We don't get to make the decision. It's all in the judge's hand. And we don't know who likes who, who doesn't like who, who liked what, who didn't like what. I may like the clouds fluffy, and she may like them crunchy. Who knows? I honestly felt good. I was like, oh, we got that in the bag. But you never know how the judges feel. This is the moment that everyone has been waiting for. Time for the judges to announce the winner from Creative Dance Routine. I don't know what's gonna happen. Hopefully the judges feel the same way I felt about what I saw my girls do today. And first place goes to... The Dancing Dolls! Dancing Dolls come out first place. I'm like, thank you, God. All this work that I did with the Latin routine, with the guys, the girls put on an amazing performance. And they deserve to win first place. For last category, stand now. Are y'all ready?
back on tonight, there's nothing that I would have done differently. I think that we did everything that we were supposed to do. We we're coming home with the win, and I'm very pleased. After the Purple Diamonds celebrated their win, you know, they did come over to the girls and they hugged, and that is what we're supposed to do. The fans, they're irrelevant. Right now, we got the girls that are out there dancing, and that's who. Who, who holds the glue to what we need to do for unity. At the end of the day, it's all about Mississippi staying together. We're all in Jackson. We're all from the same area code. We're all from the same area. We go to the same churches, eat in the same restaurants. I don't have to say anything to Shanika, but because we're trying the whole be nice thing, Shanika comes and hugs me. So I'm going to respect her because it's the right thing to do. I think we were all speechless because we know we should have won this. Whether you win or lose, if you walk away from something feeling like you have given it everything you have, then you won. Trophies don't matter. That's what I want. I'm trying to get y'all to learn and to understand. Trophies are made out of steel, plastic, and screws. That's, you see these screws? Look at the screws holding this together. I knew how bad they wanted to win, and the disappointed looks are all over their faces. You win some, you lose some, and that's the whole idea that I want them to walk away from in every, in every situation. All this stuff is materialistic. What does it really say? Does this say that you're good? This doesn't define who you are. Win or lose. If y'all did an amazing job, I wasn't gonna feel no type of way. I would not even be upset. Honestly, I'm happy. It is what it is. A loss is just motivation for me. And one thing about a person that loses, you got to know that they're going to come back stronger and harder than the last time you saw them. So if you thought the peacemaker stand was as far as we're going to go, think again. The next time you see the dancing dolls, you're going to wish we weren't even in the same building. So walk away from this, feeling proud of yourself. All right, let's go. D-D-4-L! Yeah!